Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. <laughs> it's Glenda and I have my sister Laurie here with me today and we decided to do a fun video. Now my sister comes up every Thursday and we go out for breakfast, take my mom out for some of the things she needs from the grocery store and I says, hey, why don't you help me do another video? So this is a fun video today. <laughs> if you look behind me on these shelves right here, you see that I do use a lot of Premier yarns. And I thought, I'm going to grab some of the designs that I can find. I have so much stuff in this studio, I couldn't find half of the things I've made. But I have a lot of new subscribers, and I thought, I just want to do a rundown and just show you some of the projects that I made using Premier Yarns. So my sister's here. She's going to grab some of the stuff off the table. And I'm just going to show them to you one at a time and just give you some ideas of maybe something you might want to make for the spring, summer, Christmas season, or any of these designs you can put your own spin to. I'll tell you what yarns I use, and you can view all the colors available that you might want to make something in a different color to suit your own personality. So Laurie, what do you have for the first item? And you may have to like wheel your chair up so they can see it up close. We'll do the littlest things first. Now this next design is one of my most popular dishcloth patterns. I'm new at this. Now these are one of my best sellers that I use when I do my craft shows. I make these in every color possible and they really bring a burst of color to your craft shows. And these again are made with a Premier Home cotton and that is pattern number 610. The next pattern my sister has is my snowflake dishcloth. This is another dishcloth that was made using the Premier Home Cotton. This is pattern number 518, and this requires one skein of number 38-01 white, and it makes two dishcloths for one skein of yarn. Now that was when it was 140 yards per ball. I made this quite a while ago so make sure you check the yardage on the yarns now because I don't know if that's still the same quantity of yardage in that but this was a snowflake dishcloth and this is one of those projects if you make these over the summer it's a quick easy project and you can get a lot of these made up to give to family and friends at Christmas now this next design my sister has is the premier garden triangle shawl so I'm going to make her get up wrap it around, demonstrate, go ahead and try to show it to everyone. And this was made using the Premier Garden yarn. This is a three lightweight yarn. And this sample here was made using four skeins of the color 1076-01 gem. So you wanna turn around and show them the back, just stretch your arms out and show them the whole back of it. Uh, yeah, like there. now, now it fits better. I was gonna say it didn't. Look, I was lopsided. It didn't look too good on her. She's fired as a model. <laughs> so the, turn around, show them the back, whip around. Okay, hold your arms out, show them how long it is. Now bring it here. You have to help me. Go like that with both arms. Go like this. Show them how I did it. Let it drape down a little bit. There you go. And that is the Premier Garden Triangle Shawl made in the color gem with a premier garden yarn very nice you're getting better <laughs> now this next pattern that she's holding up this was my magic rainbow afghan and this was made with the pixie dust yarn and i do believe this was either on sale or on clearance this is a sparkly yarn can you get that up there i'm not sure if the sparkle will show up in my camera Every time I put something close up to the camera, my lighting gets darker. So sorry about that. You want to open that up and show them the full size. This is a nice size afghan. This is 48 by 58 inches. So here it is. It's a pretty large afghan. And when you pull it up, you can see it's just a beautiful, soft touch of sparkle. So cozy soft with that yarn. And again, that was the premier pixie dust yarn that I used. And that was the magic rainbow afghan. This would be nice for a toddler or a... 
That's pretty big for a toddler. Well, that's more for okay, like for Carly's a, age for our Okay, kid. That's, a young that's, adult. A young, a young. Yeah, a t that's that's pretty big. That's forty-eight by fifty-eight inches. Okay. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that that's a nice cozy blanket, and I love my rainbow colors. And you'll notice that when I do design, I love using the brighter colors. I can't help it. Now this next design is a beginner pattern, and this one was made with the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday DK Stripes yarn, and I'm so used to using the bright colors that I wanted to change and use darker, maybe browns and blues. Now this afghan here measures 31 and a half by 36 inches. Again, this was made using the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday DK Stripes, and this was color stream. It's color, you need six skeins, and this was color 2007-05 stream. It's a beautiful, like, gray with brown and blue. Just a beautiful color if you like those neutral colors. I just thought it was really pretty. And this kind of resembles the colors that are in my Winter in the Woods afghan that was made with a totally different yarn, totally different stitch, but it kind of has that same look. But that was Wrap Me in Love Baby Afghan. And you can check out all the anti-pilling everyday DK yarns, and they have beautiful colors available. And the other thing about the Premier anti-pilling yarns is when you want to make a baby afghan for your own child or someone else, the anti-pilling yarns is what keeps your item looking new, wash after wash. It does not get those fuzz balls. It does not pill. It's just an excellent yarn to cherish those handmade items. And a lot of people keep those baby afghans and then they store them in their hope chest. And then they say, I still have your first baby afghan. And that's one of the reasons you should use the anti-pilling yarn. So again, that is the Wrap Me in Love baby afghan. Is this a beginner, did you say? So I could make this? That is a beginner pattern. That wow. is a super, super easy pattern. It's just a single double crochet stitch. So well, you know what easy. I like about this is the size of it. This would be an excellent little pattern to use too if you have somebody in a nursing home who For just a wants lap. a little lap quilt. Lap gan. This is this, a lap gan. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I want to start making them. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I do. I. Take this your is pick easy. Of if this is easy and beginner, I might try. They are nice, and it's it's nice when you remember people in a nursing home. Some of those people are what I call the forgotten. They have no family left that come visit, and when they get a gift, especially something that keeps them warm, because I know my mom's 88 going on 89, and she is always cold. When you go to her house, her house is like 80 degrees all the time. So let's see what you have next. This was one of my favorite afghans to make. This is one of those bright, sunny, springtime, summertime afghans. Now this is a baby afghan size, but you can add more blocks and you can make this into a larger afghan. It doesn't have to be baby afghan size. All you have to do is add more blocks. Now this is called the Simple Daisy Baby Afghan. This is 35 by 41 inches, the perfect size because sometimes when you wrap those babies up, you don't want the afghan to be so large that you lose the baby. This was made out of the Premier Yarns Basic. That is this line of yarn that I have right behind my sister's head. These top two shelves are nothing but Premier Basics. It's a value yarn. It's an affordable yarn. It's a beautiful yarn, and I love working with it. And because it's a value yarn, it's very affordable to make these afghans. So that was the Simple Daisy Baby Afghan. I hope you're enjoying seeing some of these patterns. Some of these patterns I've made quite some time ago. And it's just fun getting them out of the closet and reviewing some of these patterns I made. Do you want to hold it up before you put it around so they can see it? This is a beautiful shawl. This is the Easy Tropical Breeze Shawl. And it's just a beautiful color. And this is the Premier Garden Yarn. This is the perfect yarn if you like making shawls. It's a three lightweight yarn, and this is the color Azalea. You're going to need three skeins of the Azalea Premier Garden Yarn to make this Tropical Breeze Triangle Shawl. 
It measures 64 inches at the widest point. So hold your arms out straight so they can see how wide that really is. It measures 30 inches from the top to the bottom point and 47 inches from corner to corner across the side of the shawl. But I just fell in love with that color. That is a beautiful color for a shawl. And it's the perfect size because it comes right down to the ends of your arms. It's a little bit longer in the back and it's just a beautiful color. And with spring and summer coming, isn't that the perfect color? So that again was the Tropical Breeze shawl. And did I do better? You did better. <laughs> I got to put her to work when she comes here. <laughs> now this next pattern, I just did this pattern not too long ago. These are from my childhood. I made these years ago in the 70s for one of the Crochet World magazines. And this is the Flower Girl Toilet Paper Topper. And these were made using the Premier Everyday DK number no. 3 lightweight yarn. And I just thought this was a fun pattern to redo. I revamped it because it was one of those things that I remember from my childhood. It's always been in my mom's bathroom. I, I took it and now she says, where's my toilet paper doll you took? I want that back. So I got to remember to take that up to her. You know, who wants to see a plain old thing of toilet paper? This is just a great way to accent your bathroom. So that is one of the other patterns I made out of Premier Yarns. So you don't always have to make afghans, hats, and scarves. Get creative. Come up with something new to make. And that's where this pattern comes in. <laughs> I just took a fish bowl and I used the Premier Basic, the four worsted weight yarn, and I made this pumpkin centerpiece with lights. Now, inside this fish bowl, I put sparkly lights. So there's a little remote control. It's too hard to see because the sun's out today. But if you turn that remote, it lights up in the bottom and shines through the shell stitches. And then I just threw a fall floral arrangement in there and I called it my pumpkin centerpiece with lights. And it just shows you how creative you really can be with yarn. So that is the pumpkin centerpiece with lights. Good job. <laughs> Now this little guy, you probably remember, I made him quite some time ago. He's a very popular pattern. Now in this pattern, I say use any brand of yarn, but I did use my Premier Basics up here in that red, in the green, the white, and the pink. So I did make it using Premier yarn. And this is the Mary Santa toilet paper cover, and he's pattern number 551. And he is just the cutest thing to have decorating your bathroom at Christmas time. <laughs> this next design is the Christmas Celebration Afghan. Now when Premier Basics come out with those brand new multicolored yarns, I love using multicolors with solid colors and splitting those colors up. And I just had to make a Christmas blanket. This is, again, the Christmas Celebration Afghan. It's 42 and a half inches by 58 inches long. So it's a beautiful Afghan, very easy to take care of because the Premier Basics is wash and dryable. You want to hold this up, Laurie? This is the Lullaby. I fell in love with this yarn, and, and this would be beautiful using this Lullaby and substituting the Lullaby for the Christmas yarn. Yeah, see if you can walk right up to the camera so they can see how beautiful that is. Very beautiful pinks, yellows, blues, and greens. It just gives you some other alternative ways to take a pattern and just by changing the color of the yarn, you can get a completely different look to the pattern. So that color would be here. This multicolor would replace the Christmas the, the multi. Christmas color. Oh, okay. And then you'd have a beautiful white wow. and pastel. It would be gorgeous. Yeah. So, yeah, I love this color. I, I, I had to order more in because I just love it. So I'll be making another project with this. I just fell in love with that colorway. Now, this next project is called the Seaside Afghan. Do you have a beach condo? Do you live by the beach? Do you just go to the beach? Do you live by a lake? Do you have a cottage? This is beautiful done in cream, light blue, royal blue, and sky blue. And again, I use the Premier Basics that's behind me. This measures 
45 inches across by 63 inches long. So perfect size to cuddle up and even keep your toes warm. And again, this is Seaside Afghan and it's pattern number 617. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see the stitch pattern in that? You wanna hold it up right to the camera and they can see how pretty that is. It's very easy to do. So that again is the Seaside Afghan. This next afghan is one of the afghans I made when I first started my channel, when I sounded like a robot, was afraid to talk. Now I'm used to YouTube and I can, you know, do things a little bit better now. <laughs> but this is called the 12 Pointed Star Baby Afghan. This is pattern number 131. And this was made using the Premier Yarn Sweet Rolls. This is a four worsted weight yarn. It's very quick to make up and you only need three rolls of the sweet rolls. Now this was made using Melon Pop. That was color number 1047-28. And this measures 37 inches in diameter. So this is the perfect size for when you wanna take that little one somewhere. Not too big where the baby gets lost, but just the perfect size. And look how bright and colorful that is done in the melon pop. And that was the 12 pointed star pattern 131. And I'll be putting a link to my website. You can go on there and find all of these patterns. Now the last design I want to show you, this is the Winter in the Woods blanket and I was so surprised at the response I got from this afghan. Premier Puzzle Yarn is one of the yarns that I love to use when I want one of those cozy cuddly blankets and I had a viewer start a web page and a lot of people were taking this blanket and they were all making it in different colorways of the Premier Puzzle Yarn. It was just such a compliment to me. It really made my day to know that so many people like this design. Now this is Winter in the Woods and I used eight skeins of the color 1050-03 crossword. It just reminded me of winter in the woods with a little bit of snow with those trees that turn brown and lose their leaves. But it's a nice size. It's 47 by 60 inches. And that is the winter in the woods blanket. Now, Laurie, do you want to uh, just right behind this chair, do you see this yarn right here? Grab that top skin. Yeah, that one and the one on top. Just hold that up to the camera. I have two colorways that you can look at this and can you imagine the winter in the woods afghan made with these colors? Can you read the colors on that? I can't see it. So this is color number 105031 hopscotch. You can get a little closer now. Just yeah, not too close. Okay, so they can see all three. Can you imagine that blanket done with these beautiful colors? And then I have another one here. This is color 1050-34 marbles. And this is another color that I think would look gorgeous done in the winter in the woods. So just because you see a pattern in one color doesn't mean you can't change the colors and make a different colored afghan. So that was some of the Premier designs that I have made in the past using Premier yarns. And I just thought it would be fun to kind of do a refresher and just show some of these things that I have <laughs> piling up in my closet. So I want to thank you for coming up and no, you're welcome. helping me today. So out of all those things, what would you really make if you had an opportunity to? I thought you wanted to make the other one. I, I didn't know, but I like this one too. This because this is it's gorgeous. Because it's like cozy. Yeah, but I like I like the lap. What do you call them? The lap. A lap. Lapkin. Out of all of them. Is that the one you'd make? It, it, is, it does look like it's a perfect size for a wheelchair for a lapgan. It's a baby afghan, but it can be oh, made into a lapgan, and the yarn is so very soft. And it's not real heavy. You don't want a big heavy quilt for an elderly person. You, you want something light. Yeah, just something comfort. Easy. Yeah, just to take the chill off. Because mm -hmm. they usually keep it pretty warm in some of those places. But yeah, it's the perfect size. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by today, spending a little time with my sister. I hope this video has got you inspired. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye, everybody.